This is an emergency broadcast. Good evening. It's a military mission in North St. Louis. Heavily armored vehicles are rolling into town, and while they come in peace, there are all kinds of rumors about why they are here. News Channel Live's Casey Nolan is live somewhere in St. Charles County, where he got an up close look at the military vehicles. Casey? Yeah, Mike, in order to get that up close look, we've agreed not to say exactly where in St. Charles County we are tonight and where these vehicles will be parked overnight. The Army doesn't want that information to be made public for security reasons, but we can tell you why they are here. Now, this may not be such a huge deal that these rigs are in town if not for the speculation that was coming via the internet today. St. Louis police first put out the word that people may see these armored security vehicles in their neighborhood, especially near the Army Reserve Armory in North St. Louis on Goodfellow. But that was about all the information they released. On the KSDK Facebook page, in just a few hours, we had more than 100 people weighing in on what was going on, with comments ranging from people saying they would stop and salute if they saw the vehicles, to others worried this was the beginning of martial law. Well, it turns out this is a group of military police in from Fort Meade, Maryland, and they are here to train members of the 354th MP company here in St. Louis on how to drive these rigs, a military's driver's ed of sorts, if you will, on the highways and on city streets. They are not loaded, they are not armed in any way, but the Army says that does not mean they aren't dangerous. That vehicle is over 32,000 pounds. If they see that vehicle, it is harmless, but they need to know to stay away from it. We don't mind you all looking at it, but please stay away. Uh, every day while we're out riding around, we get hundreds of people taking pictures and filming us, and a lot of people even swerving in our lane. In fact, they were on Interstate 44 today coming in from Fort Leonard Wood. They say they had one man trying to drive and take pictures at the same time. They had a kind of a, a last minute unintended uh, class in evasive maneuvers to avoid a wreck. So their warning be careful around what is an unusual sight in St. Louis, which you may see between now and next Friday.